I'm already surprised myself. I have done almost I made somebody smile. Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. You are watching the Gen Z channel. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Because in today's video, we're going to be doing something interesting. Hmm. I'm going to be doing a test on how much steps I can do in a day. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be doing anything unusual, trying to walk more. I'm going to be doing my regular average daily steps. And I want to show you guys how much steps a car hauler does in a day. But we are in your average typical Joe steering wheel holder truck. Ow. We are in a 90 foot Peterbilt 389 car hauler. And by the end of the video, you're gonna find out how much steps a regular car hauler does every single day. But no, I'm not gonna be counting my own steps as I walk because obviously I'm gonna forget. So for this video, I'm gonna be using an app that tracks your walking location. And I've been using this app for a couple years already and it tracks my every single day walking. So stick around to the end of the video. But without further ado, let's get into the video and let's start our day. So I'm at my first pit stop for the day. I'm about to go get some fuel for the truck. I wonder how many steps I'm going to do here. Let's fill her up. Since we're counting our steps today, let's eat healthy. I grabbed the salad and I put some ranch in it. And we got all our diesel. 654 bucks worth of diesel. We got what we needed. Let's keep going. In a 10 minute slowdown everybody's being grumpy everybody's not happy let's spread some positivity and see if we can make somebody honk and smile oh yeah I made somebody smile we spread positivity even though we confused a couple other people by honking our train horns, but that's my mission every day, make somebody smile. Let's just get past this traffic and continue our great day. So I just got to my first drop. I got to drop off two cars here and it started raining. Everything is wet outside. So I put on my hat, I put on my sweater. It's a little bit chilly outside. We're gonna go drop these two cars and head over. We got three more drops in Nashville to do. So I actually dropped at this dealership two days ago. I was here at night. But now I'm here during the day and we're actually gonna get a signature for the cars. Guys, it is raining good out here. I'm getting all wet. I'm dropping this car and this car. All right, drop these two. There was nobody here to check them in. So I left the keys with Rick. They told me I have to do a STI drop, which is a night drop. And that's not good. So I had to take a bunch of photos and now let's get going. First drop complete. Let's go to our second drop. Plans change, guys. I am not gonna go pick up GM today. The plan in the morning was to go drop off four drops around Nashville area, and then drive an hour south of Nashville to pick up GMs. Pick up GMs and bring them home to Lexington, Kentucky. But the plant went on hold, and I don't have enough logbook anyways to go pick up that load, so all I'm gonna be doing today is dropping off 
these four drops in Nashville. I got another hour to go to my second drop, and then from there I'm gonna go home. But still, even with four drops, I can still do a decent amount of steps in a day because it's not only my four drops that I'm doing. So in the morning, I woke up and I went to the shower and I was walking around the truck stop. The second time we walked was when we stopped to grab fuel. Third time we walked today is when I stopped to do my first drop. And then after that, I stopped and grabbed some food and I had to run to the Panda Express and come back. So I have been doing quite a bit of walking and running so far. Let's check in on how much steps I've done so far today. I'm already surprised myself. I have done almost three and a half thousand steps and my day isn't even over yet. I still got three more drops to do, which I'm gonna be running around the trailer and running around in the dealership. So we'll see how much steps we get by the end of the day. If you got an estimate on how much steps you think I can do today, leave it down in the comments below, and then we'll see at the end of the video how much steps I actually can do. Keep in mind, I'm not doing any extra steps. I'm just doing what I need to do to get my day done. So let's keep going to my second drop, and once we get there, I'll check up in with you guys. We'll see how much steps we get done after our second drop. So we are here at the second stop. I'm about to go unload two cars here as well. We're about to unload these three cars. There we go. Huh? Hey, where'd they go? Where are they? Can't see them. After my second drop, I got in the truck. I pulled out my app. It says that I am at 4,787 steps compared to when we Got out of the truck, we were at three and a half thousand steps. So we did a total of 1,287 steps at our second drop. That's quite a bit. That's me walking around the trailer multiple times. That's me coming back to the truck after I drop off each car. Also walking around in the dealership, getting signatures. Working on my third drop. We got the popo here. We got one more car to take off from the top. As I'm walking around the truck and trailer, I get a lot of steps in. But when I unload the car, I have to drive it all the way down that road, drive it in all the way at the end of this building. And then from that building, I got to walk all the way over here. And I got to do that with two cars this time. Sometimes we got to do it with the full trailer like that, but that's why we get so much walking and exercising throughout our day. Perfect example of getting stuck on the truck. So my wheels are in a hole. I'm on top of my truck and I'm trying to gas it and get out of here, but the car doesn't have enough power and when it does the wheels just spin through since the car is at an angle down so i gotta get down there and lift up the front end a little bit so that's where we're stuck i gotta lift this lift up a little bit so that the car is leaning forward a little bit because right now it's too much at an angle and we're standing downhill with the truck so just gotta lift this lever front end goes up And you gotta come back here and make sure that there's no exhaust pipe or bumper that will get stuck on that part right there. We're good, so it's gonna drive off pretty easily right now. There we go. I did a little bit more walking there and I felt it. We ended up being at 6,290 total steps for the day at our third drop. So compared to the amount of steps that we have done after our second drop, we did 1,503 steps at our third drop. And it was about that much because I had to go pretty far to get back to the truck and I was dropping off two cars there. So I'm about to be pulling through Nashville. I wanna show you some of the Nashville lights, the pretty buildings, and we are headed to our fourth and final drop. We're gonna be doing one more drop. So stick around to find out how many steps we do after our fourth drop. we are done with our last drop so let's get into the details and see how many steps I've done at this location because I don't think I walked as much as I did at my last drop 
with the two cars that I had there, but let's just double check and see how many steps I've done at my last and final job. Well, we got 7,287 steps. Just two steps short of 1,000 steps at our last drop. So we're still not done with the day. I still gotta do a couple more things, so stick around and you will see the final numbers at the end of the video. If you are enjoying the video and you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button because I'm gonna be posting more videos on this channel like this. We are doing our last pit stop for the week. It's been a long week. I'm about to get home and I just need to fill up the truck for the next driver who's driving it next week. It's already midnight and I'm still doing my steps. It's cold out here, it's windy. Let's get this truck filled up and get back in the truck because I'm freezing. So I just finished filling up, but before we head out, I want to tell you guys what kind of truck I'm driving. I'm driving a Peterbilt 389. This puppy is empty, but it still weighs in at 42,500 pounds. It is a automatic 13 speed transmission, no manual. The total length of the truck is 80 foot from the headlights to the back tail lights. It is a stinger, it's a bubble top. I'm not gonna go all the way in debt with it, but those are just a couple specs of the truck. The truck itself, being a 2021, already has 302,346 miles. But yeah, those are just a couple specs. Let's get back in and let's get back home. So one more thing I'd like to mention of the truck, it weighs in at 42,500 pounds. So that allows us to carry 37,500 pounds on the truck as i leave this truck for the next driver for next week i'm gonna be hopping in on another truck so before we get home i stop by at the closest truck stop to home i fill up full tanks i fill up full diesel tanks i fill up full dev tanks i wash all the windows all around and the mirrors once i get home i clean the truck i vacuum it i detail everything on the inside and i leave the truck clean for the next driver all right guys we have made it back home we are at the yard it is 1 a.m i'm currently cleaning the truck right now but let's check out how many steps we have done today so after my fourth drop i still had to stop by and fill up after i was done filling up i drove out another hour and a half and i am home now so how many steps in a day does a car hauler take as a car hauler i took 8,000. 440 steps today that is equivalent to 3.9 miles almost four miles in one day and as a truck driver that's really good you want to get those steps in every day you need to be moving around you can't be sitting around and if you are sitting around as a truck driver at the end of the day get out walk around do a little bit of exercise stretch those legs 8440 steps and that was me just unloading today when I do loading up, I am well over 11, 12,000. So on days where I'm loading up and I have to run around a lot, I'm at around 11 to 12,000. So 8,440 is still really good as a truck driver. That is almost four miles. That is why I enjoy car hauling because I am able to get out there, walk around, do exercise, stay moving around and stay healthy. But that is it for the step counting video guys. If you are new to the channel and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification button so that you know when I post a new video. I'm going to go home and I'm going to get my rest. And if you guys are still out there driving, stay safe on the road, drive safe, stay healthy, walk around, get your steps in. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.